You are welcome to another video of Juniper Juno's associate course following the previous section that we have talked about Juniper routing policy fundamental. To better understand it in this section, I will give you a configuration example. To do that, I will advertise default route to the network through OSPF routing protocol. To match the default route, I will use both route filter and prefix list to see the differences. This is the topology that we used in the previous section to configure OSPF. What we will add in this section is to configure an export routing policy example to advertise the default route over the OSPF routing protocol to the network. Just to review, Virtual SX1 and Virtual SX2 are connected to each other through two interfaces, Giga Antenna 0 and 1, with IP address range 10, 10, 10 and 20, 20. 20. OSPF routing protocol is already configured between these two virtual SIX devices and the address of loopback interfaces 172.16.1 and 2 can reach each other since it is advertised through OSPF routing protocol. Now let's assume that virtual SIX1 is connected to the internet so we add a default static route with the next hub pointing to the internet. But since virtual SIX1 is not actually connected to the internet, here I will use this card as the next hub just to add a default route to the routing table. Then we write an export routing policy to export the default route from the routing table to the OSPF routing protocol. In this way, the other routers like virtual SRX2 on the network, learn how to reach to the internet. And just to review the configuration, we write a routing policy with the name of, for example, default originate. This policy contains only one rule or term that matches a static route and the route that exactly matches the default route to be accepted. Then we apply the policy to the OSPF so that the route that match the policy can be exported to the OSPF routing policy. The route that matches exactly the default route can be configured using both prefix list and route filter. The differences between these two tools are explained in the previous section. Before starting the configuration, Let's make sure that the OSPF is already configured between these two devices, Virtual SX1 and Virtual SX2. It show OSPF neighbor command. As you can see, there are two neighbors through Giga Ethernet 0 and Giga Ethernet 1 interfaces. In the next step, we configure a default route, but with this card as the next hub, since we don't have a real internet connectivity and with which virtual SX1 and I want to add just a default route in the routing table of virtual SX1. So configure and then set routing options, aesthetic route and then default. And the next hop is discard and then commit. Then we make sure that default route is created in the routing table with the command show route, as you can see, the default is created in the routing table with the next hop as discard. Now we create a routing policy with the name of default originate, which include just one term matching a static route and exactly default route. With the command set policy options, policy statement, the name of the policy default dash originate and the only term is term 10 for example and from protocol static and from and there are two options to match the exact default route the first option is to use route filter which has many options to match the default route, not only exact, but longer or longer, prefix length range, through and 
up to however we don't need these parameters in this example and we will use only exact parameter before checking the second option to match the default route with prefix list let's apply the current policy to the OSPF routing protocol and make sure that default route is advertised to virtual sites 2 then set protocols OSPF export and then default originate and then commit and we can check in virtual sites 2 show route still there is no default route here I think I forgot to enter the accept command term 10 then accept I forgot to add this command again commit and run show configuration display set and grep default originate as you can see from protocol aesthetic route filter default route exact then accept and it is uploaded to the protocol OSPF and then we check again in virtual sx2 as you can see the default route is learned in the virtual SRX2 through two routes 10 10 10 1 and 20 20 20 1 since there are two paths between virtual SRX1 and virtual SRX2 now that we are sure that it was let's delete the route filter delete this command and replace it with prefix list with prefix list first we have to create a prefix list set policy options prefix list default and then default route first commit and then we will use prefix list instead of route filter with the name of default as you can see there is no option here or prefix list filter which has only exact longer or or longer parameters and i applied with the prefix list and the name of the prefix list is default and then enter and then again commit we check again the default route in virtual sx2 with command show route as you can see the default route is again in virtual sx2 so we have matched the default route with both route filter and prefix list